This week on The Wire, first home buyers look to regional areas, high prices make vendors happy, and renovations hit record levels. G'day guys, my name's Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment, and more. Now please like, comment, and share this video, and if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. So let's get into the top story uh, happening this week. First home buyers look to regional areas. So government data shows around half of the applicants for the federal government's first home loan deposit scheme are single and looking to buy their home outside of the three main capital cities of Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane. Now, according to Nerida Cos Connersby, chief economist with the REA Group, the desire for buyers to purchase outside the major cities is a reflection on the high entry price points of those cities and is good news for the smaller capitals and regional areas. Now, single participants who have been accepted are earning an average salary of $67,000 a year, while couples are averaging over $110,000. Now, under the scheme, the income threshold is $125,000 a year for singles and $200,000 a year for couples. The latest figures from the National Housing Finance and Investment Corporation show that while a third of the applicants are aged 25 to 29, 11% of the applicants are aged between 40 and 59. Now, Domain Economist Trent Wiltshire says the pension asset test is skewed towards homeowners and that we will continue to see more people buying their first home in their 50s. And now for our next story. High prices make vendors happy. So vendors are being pleasantly surprised with the sale price their homes can achieve as buyer interest increases. In a survey of 40,000 Australians, ratings firm Rate My Agent discovered respondents had the highest level of satisfaction seen in two years, with many selling their properties for more than they expected. The satisfaction level doubled from 20% of those surveyed in December 2018 to 41% in December 2019. The report says Aussies across the country are rising in happiness as seller satisfaction doubles nationwide, indicative of a steady upturn in the property market. The strongest Queensland results were in Townsville, but the Southeast Corridor dominated the top 10 list in the state. So the highest levels of satisfaction were in Townsville, Scenic Rim, Moreton Bay, Brisbane, Gold Coast, Logan, Sunshine Coast, Ipswich, Rockhampton and Redland. Now the report found the happiest state was Victoria at 55%, which had overtaken Tasmania 51%, followed by New South Wales 50%, ACT 48, South Australia 42, Queensland 38, and Western Australia 33. And now guys, for our final story of the week, renovations hit record levels. So cheaper finance and fewer property listings are behind the growing trend of home renovations, says REA Group Chief Economist Nerida Connorsby. As an example, Australian Bureau of da uh, Statistics data shows Queensland councils have approved the highest number of alterations and additions to homes during the six months to the end of December. Now, around $930 million in major residential renovation works was approved in Queensland, which was $80 million more than the same period for the previous year. It doesn't surprise me, says Connorsby. Firstly, we've had three interest rate cuts. Getting finances a lot cheaper so people are able to borrow more money. The second issue is around the fact that there are fewer listings, so even if people wanted to upgrade into a new home, a lot haven't been able to find one, so it becomes attractive to renovate the one they're in. Also, if you're looking for a bigger home, it may be better value to renovate your current home because of the cost of moving and selling. Well guys, they're the top stories happening this week. Couple of things before you go. Remember to like, comment and share this video and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Also, don't forget to stay tuned later in the week for our Just Ask Tim video series. And if you have a question that you'd like to ask or there's a topic that you'd like me to discuss in more detail, there will be a link in the post to do that. Apart from that, guys, that's it from me today. Have a great day and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference and that's action. See ya.